This tutorial will show you how to extrude along a path using the sweep tool in Inventor. I'm going to start by creating a sketch on an appropriate work plane. I'm going to draw a closed profile. Extrude along a path works by taking a closed profile and making it follow along a given path. That path needs to be drawn perpendicular to the profile. I'm going to go into the modeling tree and find the work plane which is perpendicular to that initial sketch, in this case, the YZ plane. I'll use the view cube to show you what I mean. You can see from this angle that the work plane is perpendicular, it's at 90 degrees to that initial sketch. I'm going to start a sketch on it and here I can draw the path that I want that profile to follow when it is created, um, sorry, when it turns into a 3D model. I'm using the spline tool to create a flowing path over towards the right hand side of my page. Okay, so I have my closed profile and I have my path. I can now select sweep and you can see it has generated my 3D model, my extrude along a path. So normally you would select profile, which would be that closed profile there, then move to path and select path, and the model would be created. Okay, so that is extrude along a path. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a second extrude along a path, which is gonna join on to this one. So I'm gonna want a path which flows into the model and I'm going to need to have a sketch at the end of it to create the closed profile. To do that, I'm going to have to create a path which goes into the model. So I'm going to open up the plane which runs through it here. I'm going to start a sketch on there and I want to see inside this model onto my plane. So I'm going to hit F7 to slice the graphic. Now there's currently no geometry, no sketches on this work plane, but I want to use the geometry from the initial model to help me. So I'm going to use project geometry and select the model here at the bottom. This has taken that geometry and pushed it onto my work plane so I can use it, uh, in this case, for the center point. Okay, so I can use that center point there to help me create my path. I'm just using the line tool and I'm going to use dimension to help me create this path here. Now I'm just going to delete the line here at the bottom so that I've only got a single path for the profile to follow along. So I just want the profile I create to flow along this single path. Now I'm going to want to have a sketch at the very end of this path here. So I'm going to have to create a work plane at the end of it. To do that, I'm going to use normal to axis through point. Select the line, select the end point, and it creates a work plane perpendicular to the line. You can see better from this view here. It's at 90 degrees to that line. But same as before, when I start a sketch on it, there's no geometry, but I want to know the center point. So I'm going to use project geometry, click the line, and it's now created a little um, geometry on my work plane. So I can get that center point, it'll snap onto it when I sketch. So I know that circle is at the correct place. I'm now going to use a sweep tool to create an extrude along a path. Select profile, my close profile will turn blue when selected. Now path, again it will turn blue when selected. And I've got the option here to add, subtract or intersect. I'm going to add that extrusion. And here we have two extrude along a paths joining onto one another. Okay, so that is how to extrude along a path.